Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is the When in Soul podcast. Danny Cho here. To my right, we have Bobby Choi in the house. What's up, everybody? Boom, boom, boom. Ba, 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 boom. Well, um... <laughs> I don't know what that was. You know, we, we don't have we don't have the capacity to throw like you know real air horns. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. You know, or the you know during the World Cup, the the vuvuzelas in South Africa. <laughs> we don't have that. We don't have a soundboard, guys. We're actually recording in your house. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, <laughs> we're like the Temptations. We're talking into one mic and stuff. You know? <laughs> yeah, we're kind of low budge guys. Uh, but um, anyway. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. Mm-hmm. This uh, this episode of the One in Soul podcast, we're going to talk about like pretty much like living in Korea, right? Like you know when mm-hmm. it comes the nitty gritty in terms of rent, renting, you know, living you in Seoul know, yeah, as a foreigner. As a foreigner, mm-hmm. um, my background is I moved into my place in Shincheon, mm-hmm. uh, and it's been about a month now. Since I've been there, has it been, yeah, it's been about a month, right? Yeah, and um, so I have, uh, like, you know, I paid my first gas bill the other day. Oh, I, what, what was that like? Was it a lot? No, you know why? Is uh-huh. because uh, I decided, you know what? I hear of the, all the horror stories about if you turn on the thermostat at a certain level, mm-hmm. that you know during the winter it's gonna just you know just, just kick your ass. Yeah, yeah. So I just put it on like the the wet chill mode, which means uh, you're out mode. Yeah, and I just wore a lot of sweaters at home. <laughs> I know? did that for two years in Seoul, uh-huh. uh, where just my income was so low that I couldn't afford the heat mm-hmm. or the gas bill. Mm-hmm. So I just slept with like ten layers on every night. Yeah, but doesn't it like doesn't it doesn't <laughs> it suck when you have to go like use the bathroom? You know what I mean? Then sure, you have, to, it you, does. Have, you have to like you have to. It's almost like a variety show where you have to try to get like ten <laughs> layers of clothes off of you and stuff. You know. Um, yeah, so you know, I paid my first gas bill. It came out to about ten bucks. Uh huh. I was like, okay. I mean, it's not that bad. Well, you you're living in uh, a situation called um, Walse. Walse, right? which is kind of mm-hmm. like what, what most you know, like especially in the states, mm-hmm. people are used to Walse. It's more. It's like a monthly rent. It's like monthly rent. It's it's a little bit different. I'm in the same system. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the states, what's normal, I would say, is. Um, First and last month's rent. As a security deposit. Right. Yes. Uh, which, you know, I used to... I mean, like, people sometimes, they don't have to pay the last month's rent. And they're like, oh, that's a great great situation. Mm-hmm. But I came here and realized, you know, a great situation is not so great if you're not, you know, rolling in the money. Yeah, you know, if, you, so. if you're not balling. I mean, because the, mm-hmm. the security deposit situation here is a bit mm-hmm. different from like, back in the U.S. Because in the U.S., like you said, yeah, it is a first and last month, usually, system. And if your credit's crap, maybe it's two months mm-hmm. more, right? right? But here in Korea, um, the Walsa system, your security deposit, I mean, it ranges. But from mm-hmm. what I've seen when I was going to the real estate agencies... The lowest you would probably see, you'd probably have to put down like five thousand down. Yeah, but then I think the average person would have to at least put down ten k. Okay, okay. From that's, from, from that, what I've been told recently, that's what you've been seeing. Yeah, uh, that's about right for me too. When I first mo- started moving into places in, mm-hmm. in Seoul, um, it was usually five to ten k mm-hmm. down, mm-hmm. and then whatever you wanted the one bedroom, two bedroom. For me, it was always a studio or one bedroom. Yeah. Um, uh, and and the rent is the monthly rent is relatively cheap. Yeah, compa- well, compared to depend, depending Los on Angeles you, yeah, or New yeah, York, yeah. it's just wow. Yeah, like night and day. But I must I would assume that like there's certain like if you're from like I don't, and I'm not like like crapping on your states or cities, mm-hmm. but like if you're from Ohio, mm-hmm. like I bet you like you'll the, find a room for just as cheap. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like when I first moved here, I lived in a uh, I lived in a two bedroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had a roommate, so it, we kind of split the cost, and it turned out to be about three hundred US a month for yeah. my room. Yeah, uh, which is I, you can't. That's unheard of in LA. Right. In New York, that's not a thing. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't exist. Period. Yeah. You you'd um, have to live super far out, not in New York City. But we still I mean? had to put down five grand mm-hmm. um, as a deposit, right. which you get back one hundred percent. When you uh, when you leave, mm-hmm. when your contract is up and you decide to move, um, 
technically, you're supposed to get all of that back, but mm -hmm. um, because it is a security deposit, like there, you might not get it all back if, let's say, you put a hole through the wall <laughs> or like. But right, like, so. but not like not like uh, like a hole through the wall as in like nails or thumbtack holes, right? We're talking like yeah. a straight up fist through the wall because you got mad. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Uh, uh, for me, I actually almost got swindled by my first landlord, um, where she was she didn't want to give me the full amount, and I thought that was just normal because you know, hey, you know, um, she had to paint the walls or something like that, and I was like, okay, well. Uh, but my wife, mm -hmm. my girlfriend at the time, she was just like, um, no. She's like, you're getting all, all of that back. And she I was went like, Korean, Korean gangster on her? Yeah. yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm very non-confrontational uh -huh. most of the time. So I kind of told her, no, it's fine. You know, whatever. She was going to just give us 50% of the money back. Oh, wow. And so I just wanted the 50% to g give to my roommate, mm -hmm. you know, and I would just lose the rest. Mm -hmm. uh, but... But she was like, no way. She called and they got into it. And we, she got me the entire 100% back, which tells me that something was up. Like she was... She was trying to swindle yeah. this, this dumb foreigner, huh? So be careful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be careful. I mean, but the thing is, also, I remember the first place you lived in in, in Korea. It was yeah. a half basement. Which is which, what they call a panjia. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, which is technically it's translated into half basement no it's actually um into dust bin <laughs> lots of dust but you know like you know i in in la i have not seen a half basement apartments i do have seen i have seen them in new york mm -hmm. you know but um you know when i before i came here like my parents were like there are two types of places that you should avoid danny when you get mm -hmm. a place a panjia or the uh the octop the the rooftop, rooftop yeah room yeah room. Um, but you lived in a Panjia for a few years. Yeah. Uh, what was the downside of a Panjia? Oh, Aside from it being cheap, it was, that's cool, right? Cause it's usually cheaper. I didn't get any direct sunlight into my apartment. And so that really affected my mood because mm. I worked at home right. for a long time as well. So there were days where I would not see, get direct sunlight and that that's not a good thing. I think everyone should get yeah. a good amount of sunlight uh, every day, and so if it's possible. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, everyone goes through uh, th th certain stages, and I went through my Banjia stage. Yeah. That's why when I moved, I was adamant that it had to be on, uh, you know, anywhere but the Panjia. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, Chia. I mean, in this place, I mean, you have, you have windows everywhere even in your bathroom well i have one window but it's a giant in, in my bathroom yeah and i have um the balcony door mm -hmm. basically which mm -hmm. is you know glass door yeah um i actually paid 50 bucks more for my bathroom window and it's the size of it's very small it's like a, you've seen it yeah you right? can't like no one could there there's no way a a burglar yeah can crawl through that i mean it just opens only halfway yeah and uh it's uh it's non-see-through mm -hmm. so the sun doesn't really i mean you get a little bit but it's really good for airflow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and at first i was like why, why, why is my pl my place smaller than the other places on this floor mm -hmm. uh, and i'm paying more mm -hmm. and they're like well you get a window and i was just like what <laughs> <laughs> i like i had no choice in the matter i was like okay i'll, I'll take it you right. know whatever uh, but I'm really glad I have the window because it helps a lot um, to air out the apartment, the the bathroom. So. No, I, you know what? Like my place, uh, the bathroom does not have a window. Mm -hmm. And so, but there's like a, a, a window right outside my bathroom. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like when I, when I, after I shower mm -hmm. and we'll get into it more, but like. After I shower, uh, yeah. not my showering techniques, but like what the the how the bathroom in Korea looks like, mm -hmm. I have to open up the the window right outside my bathroom to try to dry Get out the whole circulation place. Yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's an issue. That's how I lived when I first moved here. Mm -hmm, no, ba no windows in the bathroom. So what I used to do is I had a fan dedicated just for the the bathroom <laughs> that stood right outside the door. So. Yeah. But that's that's just like um, that's some of the things you have to get used to um, mm -hmm. if you're deciding to live here on a budget. 
there's other ways to live here. Like you, um, the opposite of Warse, I guess, is Chunse. Chunse, yes. Um, which is where you can actually put down a a larger deposit, if if, if I'm correct. Yeah. And um, either have a no rent at all, mm-hmm. no monthly rent, or a smaller amount of rent right. to pay. Right. And so, so um, for instance. Let's say you put down a large sum of money, like fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars, on a one-bedroom apartment, um, uh, and, and you don't have to pay rent for uh, month to month, right? Because you put down such a big deposit, right? Uh, and uh, the upside is when your contra- your contract is up and you're ready to leave, you get all of that back, right? And so I'm still trying to understand completely uh, why this is. Um, you know, why this is uh, the thing that most Koreans do, I guess, is uh, it has something to do with, like, once the landlord or the owner is uh, in control of that deposit, they can do whatever they want with it for the two years, I guess, if that your contract is that I'm long. T- I'm told that they do, like, they invest, invest. that money in something. Uh, ultimately, mm-hmm. to me, uh, it's kind of like like a pawn shop. But mm-hmm. instead, you're pawning the whole the apartment. apartment, right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, like you know, um, usually I haven't heard 50k. You probably have, but yeah. I've I've seen it at like a hundred and fifty k. Yeah, I've seen you know, yeah or more. Yeah, or more. You know? I've seen more as well. Uh, and you know, it, the idea is um, you're not necessarily spending money. Yeah, because eventually, you're hypothetically you're going to get it all back. Yeah, right? uh, although I've heard mm-hmm. a lot of horror stories. Sure. Of people taking that 150k and be like later because you don't own the place. Yeah, you know but, what I mean. But I mean contractually, they're bound. You're bound by right. contract. They have to pay you back. Right. And so I've I've heard also the situation where I have a friend. I have a friend that moved out and they didn't have her money, mm. and they just asked for a little more, more time. But no, come on, that's her. You, yeah. you know your contract's up. They should have your money. And apparently they had to go to court. And, I mean, if you don't get it paid back, the, that property could, you know, be handed over to you, basically. Really? And so that was one of the options. So, I mean, she got paid back eventually. Uh. But, like, if they can't pay your money back, then that property, you know, um, has to be sold or mm-hmm. whatnot. Mm-hmm. Or maybe you can even bid, you know, I don't know. Yeah. So maybe that's part of the Because they probably thing. threw some money into, into, into <laughs> some Bitcoin and be like, uh-oh, Bitcoin just tanked a little bit, you know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so those are the two, uh, options that I know. I mean, obviously you can outright buy a place yeah, too, right? Buying a place, which is right. something I'm going through now. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm realizing, um, you know, Seoul is a very expensive place to buy property. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there are places within Seoul that are cheaper than other neighborhoods. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so this is also a learning experience as well. And I'm still kind of, um, um, learning myself. Yeah, but um, uh, let's let's move on to like more um, practical things you can expect living in a home in 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 Korea in general. I guess the um, nitty gritty, you know, the uh, nitty gritty. Uh, we, t- we before we talked about like you know the bathroom, right? So the bathroom yes. situation. A lot of folks, uh, you know, in the Western world, you might not always have a tub, but mm-hmm. you have a separate like shower stall. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah, I mean, I've seen I've seen varieties of bathrooms here, um, but normally there isn't a, a separate like you know place to shower. It's just all one room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. in Korea. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, I put it. I put up a shower curtain mm-hmm. myself. Right. Like it. It wasn't like there wasn't a pole there mm-hmm. uh, that was like you know. Uh, installed or anything like that. I did that myself, and you have cute but, curtains, shower curtains. Yeah, but the floor. <laughs> I mean, the water still spills over to the whole bathroom. So yeah, so that's whole- very uncommon in the states. Like you, you won't find wet bathroom floors. I've had cousins when they mm-hmm. come visit from Korea to the U.S. Mm-hmm. They were so not used to showering in a tub or mm-hmm. a shower stall that they would take the 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 you know the whatever the shower head. Uh-huh. And then take a shower in the in the bathroom floor. But you yeah. know, the thing is in Korea, every bathroom in the middle of the bathroom, there's like a drain, right? So all yeah. the water goes in there. Mm-hmm. But in the states, we don't have drains. Yeah, in not in the, the U.S. Yeah. So 
I've had a handful of cousins flood my house bathroom going, hey, dude, like, and I, I was like, why are you showering on the floor? You know? <laughs> yeah. You know, and then like, you know, like the, if it's carpet, like, uh, uh-huh. you know, right outside the bathroom, that gets all messed up. Yeah. You know? Uh, so, but here, that's the norm. You yeah. shower, like, you shower right in the middle of the bathroom. Yeah. You know? Or, I mean, like, um, also in Korea, like the, the, the floors are heated. Mm-hmm. So at least in the winter, I mean, the, uh, the water on the floor just dries up really quickly, mm-hmm. you know? And so I kind of like that, you know, I, I actually am getting used to, um, wet floors in bathrooms. I'm not completely. I'm I, it's still like when I have my socks on and stuff, yeah. like I, um, I, I find it annoying to have to go into the bathroom. It's the soggy feet. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, but you know, I don't mind it so much cause I feel like, um, I get to clean the bathroom completely yeah. more often. I take the shower head and I just like wash down the whole bathroom. <laughs> I love that feeling. I mean, a clean bathroom. <laughs> so in, in the States, like you don't take your shower head and, and wash your entire bathroom yeah. and the toilet and stuff yeah. like that with, you know, like it's just an unheard of. Oh so. yeah, dude. I, I, I did it today where uh-huh. today I was like, I got my shower head and then uh-huh. I just, Went crazy as yeah. if I was like a uh, like a graffiti artist, but uh-huh. <laughs> there was no like like spray can. It was just water, and no, it was it was great. But I left mm-hmm. my apartment because there's no window, mm-hmm. so I just opened the window right outside my bathroom, and right now I have the windows open in my yeah. house. Okay, you know? but you know, thankfully. Um, no one's going to, I mean, no one's going to come to the fourth floor and like, you know what I mean? There's yeah. no one's going to like mission impossible break into my place, you know what right, I mean? Right, yeah. Repels and stuff like that. Um, Plus you have nothing of value in your apartment. Absolutely right? not. There's nothing <laughs> that they can steal, except maybe my Blood Sports uh, uh, DVD that was signed by <laughs> Bolo Young, you know what I mean? That's probably it. Um, so uh-huh. yeah, uh, so that the wet bathroom thing is something that I was, I was very, very, uh, I'm still kind of not used to. Yeah. Because I'm like, who wears shoes in you know in the in the bathroom? But not not, mm-hmm. not like regular shoes, but like slippers. Slippers, yeah, yeah that's yeah. another thing. Slippers. Yeah. yeah. So I got slippers. Yeah. You know, I got these like like cushiony, wonderfully you know padded padded I slippers. I I I I like. I've seen like a lot of the like the hard plastic slippers. I don't. I'm not like that. You're not into that. No, okay. I, I I like I like I like comfort, man. Okay. <laughs> I have slippers in my bathroom, but they don't get used. My my bathroom is just too small, and I I have my own system. I squeegee the floor. You know what? That's a so great system. After I shower, after if the floor is wet, I use this like window squeegee, uh-huh. and I squeegee the entire floor until it's semi dry, so I can sort of walk on it. So I have not. I have yet met a person that has that move. Yeah. I think this is a Bobby Choi only move. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you're listening... If you don't like wet floors... Buy a squeegee. Yeah. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, my the tiles on my bathroom floor are like... Yours Yours are more flat. Mine have like these little like grooves in them. Uh-huh. So you can't really fully dry and it pisses me off. <laughs> Angry. Um, <clears throat> another thing uh, that uh, most Westerners, I think, living in Korea, they're not used to is recycling. Recycling, yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, recycling. Obviously, like back, back, back in LA, you only had like so you had like this green tub for like recycling, uh, and a blue tub for like recycling, so bottles right. and cans and all that stuff. And then one for a trash bin, just regular yeah. trash, right? Yeah. Here, there's they there's an extra move where you all food waste has to be separated from yeah. regular waste. Which is a which is great for the environment. Mm-hmm. It's a great system. Apparently, Korea is like number one in trash. Um, what do you call it? Efficiency. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and so, it's really well done here. Yeah, and they really take care of uh, separating everything from food to plastic to glass to mm-hmm. ca- to metal cans or what what have you. Yeah, uh, I I actually like it. I feel like I'm doing something for the environment. And so, um, back in the States, I, I can't, I remember we just, you know, you have one bag, you right. throw everything in there, what, no matter what, a paper, spaghetti, right. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, water, like even like fluids yeah. you, you threw in there. So, um, yeah, I don't think I could go, go back to that. 
I'm still adjusting, man. Like, to mm-hmm. be honest, like, I, like, every time I, that's why I try not to have any leftovers, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because, like, dude, if you have, like, yeah. if you have, like, things that spoil in the fridge, mm-hmm. you know, mo- like, sometimes you'll be like, all right, well, some of this is going to be in regular trash and some of this yeah. is going to go into food waste, you know? Right. And I'm like, I don't want to touch spoiled whatever it is, yeah. you know? Um, and uh, apparently you're not supposed to do this. Yeah. But you told me the trick uh-huh. of like like the food waste. Yeah. Chop it up really thinly and then flush it down the toilet. Yeah, I've I've done that uh, for on a number of occasions. But I've I brought that up in a radio show that I do. Yeah. And the hosts, the PDs, all of them looked at me like, "Yo, you're not supposed to do that." Oh, really? Yeah. So that's not so feces is. Th- we're <laughs> that's what i'm saying i was yeah, like i was like, like i was like yo so like ramen noodles are worse than the, feces right I see. you know okay. and they were like they're like well good to know though i can't explain that but you're not supposed to do that okay you know so uh i learned that from koreans me too <laughs> so me too I'm not it's not something i came up with yeah yeah that's like all like the all my korean friends go yeah. um you know koreans uh-huh. this is what we do like it was almost like they gave me like a little secret yeah like, yo, shh. You know, <laughs> yeah. here's, did, you, did, you, did you ever heard of, hear of this one? True Koreans uh-huh. don't use bottled water to make ramen. They don't use... They bottle, use... The sink the, water. The, the, the sink water. Well, I use the sink water for, for ramen. ramen. Yeah. yeah. I did not know that. Because I was... One, I had some Korean friends over. Yeah. And I was using like the bottled water. Yeah. And he's like, "What are you doing, rich guy?" Right, right, right. And like, what do you mean? He's like, "He goes, Koreans, you cook. You know what I mean? Because in this, like, well, the the tap water in the U.S. is just awful, well, especially in L.A. So I would never do it that way. But I, I didn't know the system of um, separating very well until my third year in Korea, actually, mm-hmm. because the first two years, uh, the same la- la- the same land person that mm-hmm. um, tried to. Swindle, swindle me out of my uh, deposit money. Uh-huh. She told me, "Don't separate anything. Like, Food, just throw, yeah, she said, just throw it away all in one trash." Uh, and I was like, "I thought that was fine." She's like, uh, "But I heard, but I told her I heard you have to separate everything." Mm-hmm. And she's like, no, "No, no, I pay the trash people to do that for us." Oh wow! And I was like, "I found out that that might not be such a legal thing, but it's just like a kickback that." Uh, the actual sanitation people have going on with some of the the uh, the building owners. So this landlady, this <laughs> so, landlady yeah. was just shady all across the board, <laughs> man. Um, I don't know if uh, we're supposed to be talking about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, we, we don't live there now. Um, and you, uh, you've been here for many years, so like mm-hmm. you've had different living situations. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the current place you have. It's the smallest of all of them, but the most comfortable for me. Even on the in the trash so, situation, it's like yeah. you don't have because like okay for 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 me, I have to buy these specific bags yeah. that are marked per district. You yeah. know what I mean? But you don't really need to do that because um, you have a bin. You have bins outside in your. Apartment. We have a bin that's good. Yeah, so we're allowed to throw out our trash. Uh, in bags still but Mm-mm. yeah it gets all put together right um we do have to buy bags for the tra- for the food, food waste. waste yes yes and so that is uh one thing to bring up because those bags are actually pretty expensive yeah it is like yeah, they are in the u.s trash bags are, are one thing but here like you know this is a system that's really good actually mm-hmm. but we're all contributing and i don't mind paying the the extra amount for the bags actually because i know it's it's the right thing to do uh, I'm, I'm not a baller mm-hmm. like that and if <laughs> i'm not used to it right now i'm like what's go-? and and so for for example things that food waste that like you, they're pretty strict apparently and they try to scare you too like they be mm-hmm. like yo if if you don't if you don't throw uh, separate your stuff properly yeah like, you will get fined like it says like a thousand dollars or whatever or uh, they won't take your trash like yeah. i've had that like i worked in an office building mm-hmm. in gangnam and they uh and we uh, we were throwing away trash just kind of we were separating it but like certain times we weren't really strict about it mm-hmm. and then the trash wasn't taken <laughs> so 
So uh, until we actually fixed it. So uh, mm-hmm. that exists as well. So you have to be mindful of that. But overall, it's a good thing, I think. So I've had a lot of my uh, foreigner friends tell me that the landladies, uh, when they they'll see them like throw away the trash, mm-hmm. they get yelled at because they're like, "Dude, because of you, and you, uh, you, you foreigner, you, mm-hmm. you don't know how to separate stuff." Now I'm in trouble with the trash people. Oh, really? Because you didn't separate this. Or <laughs> I'm also told you're supposed to wash out, like you know, like you say, yeah. you get like the. Like a like the rice, you take know the out, take micro- out food. Yeah, take oh, out yeah. food. You have to wash out the styrofoam or whatever. Sure, yeah, and yeah. then put it into the recycling. Yeah, like, you know, appropriately. Yeah. I I do that. I wash all. Um, I wash out anything um, like cans. Mm-hmm. Open uh, like a can of beans, mm-hmm. and I thoroughly wash the insides and make sure there's nothing, no residue. And stuff that bugs like me, that. man. I, I like that's the stuff that I mean, you know, you like you're 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 right, it's for the environment, that's mm-hmm. what we should do, you know. But I mean, that dude, stuff will rot then if you throw it in like with residue, uh, it'll get moldy and stuff. It's just it's another process that uh, I figure somewhere down the line it's gonna, you know, be a pain in the butt for someone else. So, so that's why you're that's why you're a better person than I am because oh, yeah, I, you don't have to explain. I, yeah. I know I'm a better person than you. <laughs> Like no, like is that. <laughs> no. One time, one time, I was in San Francisco, right, and this woman was passing out like these flyers for some like save the tree, yeah, whatever. Which I thought was ironic that she was giving me a paper flyer, yeah, right, right. But I didn't even take it. I was like, no, thank you, mm-hmm. you know. Like, and, and I just I tried to be polite. I said, no, thank you. As she was passing it to me, and she was, like, do you care about the environment? Mm-hmm. You know, like like that. And I was like, well, first of all. You're giving out paper flyers, so <laughs> obviously you don't either. But I'm going to be honest with you, I really don't care that much, right? <laughs> okay. Right? And then she goes, she goes, well, you might not care, but what about your kids or your grandkids? And I said, haven't met them. They might be jerks. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, I don't, I don't really know, man. You know? Oh, so man. I'm, I'm a little bit selfish, you know? <laughs> what, one of the things I love about Korea is, um, is the system of not having keys. Mm-hmm. Um, I love the, what do you call it, the the door code yeah, system. Yeah. Um, I just love ha- having one less thing in my pocket. Um, and uh, you don't see that much in the States. Yeah. I know they have it, but like um, uh, it's pretty generally like accepted everywhere in Korea. And I also <laughs> think it's because they don't, like it's relatively safe here in terms of That's like true. no one's gonna break into your house that as is very as true. as prevalent as it is back in the U.S. Right? Burglary uh, is much uh, more prevalent in the states, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and people it's an actual concern there. But here, I don't know. I I feel safer. I don't actually know how Koreans feel about that, but obviously, I mean they they don't have like padlocks. Yeah, all over know. the place and stuff. So. I personally, um, I'm amazed because I've come home drunk many times, mm-hmm. and and some and a few times I actually came in black black blackout drunk, mm-hmm. and to my surprise, I wake up the next morning in my apartment. I'm like, and my 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 apartment situation there. I have to to get into the building. There's a code. Yeah, and then walk up four flights of stairs and then get to my apartment there's another different code yeah mm-hmm. somehow in my drunken mind i am able to memorize and properly press those two codes mm-hmm. and get in oh man i uh that reminds me uh-huh. <laughs> that reminds me i i was not so lucky one time uh when i came home drunk uh-huh. um because i was i came home and i was like Pressing the numbers, uh-huh. I was like, D- I'm pretty sure this is right, you know? Mm-hmm. I, it's the same number I've had for four or five years. Uh-huh. And I was just pressing it, and it would not open. Yeah. And, then, and then I realized, I don't live on this floor. <laughs> 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 and so, oh man, my poor neighbor yeah. um, uh, that lives on another floor <laughs> in this yeah. building, uh, they... Uh, we're probably like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Someone is trying to get into my apartment. It's like four in the morning. It's like, yeah. beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Oh. 
So when I finally figured out that oh, I'm on the wrong floor, yeah. I just basically was like uh, loud enough to it to in my head, yeah. thinking uh, maybe the, she'll, she'll hear me through the door. Yeah. She'll he, or he, I don't know. Yeah, uh, was just like. <laughs> Which means, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I proceeded to go to my home. And, that is a very proper... Yeah, and the number was right. Yeah. And I got home. I got in. <laughs> number was right all along. So. Yeah. <laughs> Just got the floor wrong. <laughs> um, there's, a, there's another thing that I'm very different when it comes to um, most people. Is, you know... It, Uh, most Korean homes, they have washers, but not dryers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? And so this was very difficult for me to accept when I first moved here. For the first few years, I just, I, di I did that. I had a washer and I just hung my clothes to dry. Mm -hmm. In the U.S., most people, um, they, dry, they use a dryer yeah. a machine to actually dry their clothes. So Um, I didn't like it because, you know, when you dry your clothes that way, it's harder. Yeah. It's, like it's not as soft. The t-shirts feel like you're opening up a paper bag and you go, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's all crunchy. Yeah. So I lived with it for like three years. Mm -hmm. And then when I moved into my new place about three, four years ago, um, I um, real, realized I had a laundromat mm -hmm. like just across the street. Mm -hmm. So I went in there and I, I, I went in there a couple of times and just like... Tried it out. It's a little more, more expensive than what we're used to. Yeah. But I just got addicted to going back the old way. I used to, I used to do it. Yeah. And so now I only go there and I spend a certain, certain amount. I have a budget for it monthly. <laughs> It's um, in your line items. Yeah. yeah. So I, my washer at home has never seen, uh, hasn't been used. I don't even know if it works anymore. Uh, and so I've been using the laundromat. And so, uh, when I go to the laundromat, I hardly see people using it for, uh, their actual clothes and stuff. They use it for their, their blankets, right? Yeah, their blanket. They're there for their blankets or their business. They, they have a hair shop and they dry their towels there mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so, but, um, yeah, so I, I, I get away with having soft softer clothes i guess so. <laughs> somebody's a show off here no but you know the interesting thing is i've actually done laundry at this at that laundromat yeah um the one thing i realized that they don't i don't, I don't think they have in the states because i used to do it at the coin laundry at my yeah in la too because my apartment laundry complex was just terrible yeah but here the machines if you put in money yeah it already shoots out the detergent Right. You know what I mean? Right. Well, well back awesome. home, you have to bring your detergent and, you know, uh, whatever. But it is kind of expensive to do, like, a few loads here. Oh, yeah. I I spent, uh, I spent on average, if it's just one load, mm -hmm. um, at least 10 bucks. Woo! See? So, um, but, like, if I'm doing, like, two loads in a blanket, like, I've, I've spent up to 30 bucks. Um, depending on how much, you know, but I usually every month I go there about twice a month, I'd okay. say. Okay. So I'm spending like 20, 25 bucks a month extra on washing my clothes mm -hmm. and getting it dried as opposed to, you know, having, you know, a washer at home and being able to do it for free. But that's just the luxury, ex extra added luxury in my life. No, that's, no, that's baller stuff. I, um, there is actually a coin laundry near my place as well, but, uh, I, um, I am trying to deal with uh, crunchy shirts, you know, the hangs drying situation. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. I, actually, me and you have the same washer. It looks like the same washer. Yeah, it's the exact same one. And I noticed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it's a good washer. I should probably run a cycle just to make sure it's it works or something. <laughs> make sure it works. <laughs> I don't care if it works. Or not. It's like I don't uh, want any mold in the house. So. Uh, um. <clears throat> Another thing to 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 get used to when you move into a new place, uh, a good thing to do is to find your local market. Mm -hmm. You know, somewhere that's close and that has a wide var variety of things you need. If you're going to cook at home, uh, and so yeah, find a a market around. It's good to note that um, you know if you don't have a car, 
uh, a good thing is if you spend typically over like 20, I think it's 30 bucks 30 for bucks. mine. Yeah. Um, they usually uh, deliver it for you. For free, yes. Yeah. Within the hour or that within a couple hours of your purchase, yeah. uh, someone will bring your your groceries for you, which is which is kind of nice. And it's, yeah, it's free over 30 bucks, so you might as well. Um, that's, that's always nice for me. I, I shop at the Shijang, which is kind of like the farmer's market. Yeah. It's an outdoor market. Yeah. Um, and I'm vegan, so I have to buy lots of vegetables and stuff and prepare a lot of food at home. So I go to the Shijang and I have a cart, like one of those Ajima carts is what I call it. You are the youngest person in Korea that has (laughs) that cart. Everyone at the Shijang, like I'm starting to get to know people. I have my own Tangor, which is like the places I go to on a regular basis. And, and after a while I start getting the questions like, Oh, so do you have, do you own a restaurant or something? (laughs) Like, (laughs) like, so I'm always like, um, and I'm, buying like specific things like i like i I always buy like cilantro and like limes and like not i guess they're not really typical things in korea in korea so they they're always questioning me oh they got red onions (laughs) yeah Yeah, 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 you know yeah i I go crazy when like i'm really really involved with my shijang visits and i i I make mental mental notes all the time on prices (laughs) and um what this cost last week as opposed to this week. And and believe it or not, like, um, you can actually haggle at the Shijang. Shijang. If yes. you really want to, sometimes, um, if something's a little frayed, I will. I, I always say, ah, this this doesn't look right, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, how could you say? Or, like, mm-hmm. <laughs> take yeah. off a little. Yeah. You know, I did that one time with uh, a bunch of, uh, just some greens and yeah. half of them were wilting mm-hmm. and almost not edible. Yeah. And it just, but I only needed half. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. it was like, and the full price was like five bucks. Right. I was like, they actually wanted to, uh, not sell it at all. They're yeah. like, Oh, I didn't realize it was so bad. They, they said, no, we're going to throw this out. And I was yeah. like, no, no, let me buy it. I'll yeah. pay it pay half for it yeah that's not really haggling but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's not haggling. <laughs> you know it's funny like this is not in korea but i remember uh uh i was in new york mm-hmm. and you know in new york there's a lot of those dollar sl- uh, dollar slice pizzas right you yeah. know what i mean and so i went to the pizza store and i got you know i got a slice of pizza for a dollar i took a bite of it and it was kind of cold mm-hmm. and i was like uh sir it's kind of cold Mm-hmm. And he goes, it's a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Like, as opposed to like, oh, he didn't say, let me heat it up for you. Yeah. I'm sorry. He said, dude, it's a dollar. Just eat it and <laughs> shut up. Right? You know what I mean? That's pretty much it, right? Touche. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, you're right. You're right. You're awesome. Um, oh, the other part about uh, Korea that, that's kind of awesome is, uh, I think we've covered it in, in other episodes, but the delivery system, right? But Oh, yeah. But mm-hmm. we've talked about like food delivery as in like chicken, pizza, or like other like cuisines. Yeah. But you can also like um, get like panchan delivered to you. The panchan meaning like the side dishes, like yeah. kimchi and all that stuff. Um, I, 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 also, your groceries. You can order like e mart. Right, get your groceries like online at a small cost. It's it's not too crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, like yeah, panchan delivery for bachelors. Oh my goodness, that's like a yeah, that's a great thing to have. I mean, because I would go to the Shijang, but my nearest Shijang is a little bit far from me. So mm-hmm. if I add in the the transportation fee, then it would mm-hmm. kind of add uh, add up. However, uh, for me, uh, I actually go to my, there's like a panchan store mm-hmm. near my house, and it's because uh, the girl working there is cute. So I so I go and be like, yo, let me get some of the extra. You know, like I yeah. give her a little wink wink. Can you give me what's, you know, what's a little bit, you know, uh, off the special, the specialties here? What's the specials <laughs> of the day, right? You know? And uh, she hooks it up. You know? Wow. She and I've seen your wink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, you know, like, you know, like, for example, the rule is like, oh, if you like get 10 stamps, you get something, you know, off or whatever. Uh-huh. And, and you, uh, every, Ten dollars is a stamp. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sometimes she'll give me like two more stamps just to be like, uh, all right, boom. And I was wow. like, Is she blind? <laughs> I'm kidding. That's, you're, that, you're a jerk. I'm such a jerk. Just because yeah. you're married and I'm trying to find love in a panchankage, <laughs> you're trying to. Um, you're, you're being a jerk, man. I know. 
That was that was actually insensitive to the blind as well. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> But the speaking of s h i j a n g like uh, just quickly, um, I love going there to shop actually um, because there's, and I always make it a point to stop by. There's lots of snack mm-hmm. stalls and stuff, mm-hmm. but like my s h i j a n g um, there's like a k a r g u k s u place. Mm-hmm. Um, that's only s a m c h a n a n It's only three bucks. It actually used to be just two bucks uh-huh. for a bowl of karguksu, which is knife noodles, <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. It's basically just uh, it's, it's flour-based noodles yeah. uh, in some sort of uh, kind of seafood-y broth. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, I mean, you can get a lot of stuff like that in like, the Shijangs, like great yeah. cheap meals. You know, you're going to where the source of A lot of restaurants go buy their stuff. So, yeah, you're also going to find a cheap meal. That's pretty good. Bro, the last, mm-hmm. the, you know, since you beca- became vegan, right? Yeah. And then I moved to Korea during that time. The random times where I see you excited is when you go to the s h i j a n g to like, and you found a deal on celery. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? Happened to you, man. <laughs> right? like, 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 why are you so excited about celery? Yeah, man. Being in, the win- in the winter, yeah. celery is uh, for a whole stock, uh-huh. it's like five bucks or more. Mm-hmm. But when, uh, in the, when the spring comes, yeah. that celery can go as cheap as a buck fifty or, or less. You know, like I've seen it for just a buck for. Celery that will feed you for a week and a half, two weeks. I can just picture the listeners mm-hmm. thinking, that is some riveting information <laughs> right now. You want to talk about something? <laughs> hey, so when I first moved to Korea, yeah. avocados, yeah. I saw those at the market, uh-huh. and they were five bucks for one avocado. Ooh. Ooh. And it wasn't even a good looking avocado. It was yeah. just an avocado that, you know, was like neglected and fell off the van or something, yeah. or, or the truck. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so. But these days, um, it's getting better. Um, at, the, at its peak season, I've seen avocado six for five bucks. Okay. So a little under a buck yeah. um, per. But normally you'll find them to $2 per avocado. Mm-hmm. Same goes for limes. Limes are very expensive. I've never gotten them cheaper than a dollar a lime. Yeah. Um, so. So guacamole is mm-hmm. kind of expensive to make here comparatively to yeah, back home. Yeah, it's weird. Like the, the like limes, cilantro, um, avocado, right. um, red onions, things you need for guacamole yeah. are, are very expensive. Yeah. So uh, you don't see guacamole very much on menus in, in Seoul. Yeah. Uh, and if you do, it's probably just one spoonful. <laughs> it's like very small. <laughs> I like noticed the, that. Or the powdery, the powdery nonsense, you know? Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Um, but you have to understand, it's, it, the import cost is mm-hmm. very expensive. So it's a shame, but it's getting better. Um, you're starting to see guacamole in some ingredients, in some like, uh, yeah. recipes and stuff. So yeah. um, be grateful for what we have and what's coming. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you've been here for how long now five five six, six months? months now yeah yeah you, you've got it pretty good my friend like when i first got here the the big thing uh back then was like um uh what do you call it uh hot cheetos flaming hot cheetos, flaming yes. hot cheetos. Yeah, yeah. like that thing like people would always ask me to bring that back if i went back home yeah um but now it's like you can get it at, you can get it everywhere Like, well, you can get it in Itaewon. Yeah, get, yeah. Like, all the yeah. And they're like expensive, that. dude. Yeah, but at least you can get them. Like seven <laughs> bucks like... a bot, like seven bucks bag kind of stuff. That's kind of, kind of crazy, mm-hmm. dude. Like, um, I like Flaming Hot Cheetos, but not like that, you know? <laughs> um, another thing that when I moved in, I found a magical store that's almost everywhere in this, con- uh, in, this mm-hmm. in, the, in Seoul, at least, is a place called Daiso. Oh, man, Daiso. Daiso is like, I would like to call it like the 99 cent store. Yeah. But the only difference between a 99 cent store uh, in the States and Daiso is that the 99 cent store in the States, only truly poor people go to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't see, like, and I'm, I'm not looking down on poor people or whatever, but... 
these people are a little bit struggling, right? Yeah. The people I see at Daiso are just every like everyone. You know, it's mm-hmm. not like a, it doesn't look. They have doesn't, good items in there. Yeah, like the ninety nine cent stores back home. It kind of smelled like the Salvation Army a little bit. You know what I mean? But here, it's clean. It's like, um, and everything's everything's fairly cheap. Yeah, know? everything everything is um, affordable. Yeah, no frills. Mm-hmm. Basically, it's basic enough where um, everything is. You know, it doesn't have anything complicated. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm losing my uh, my train of thought here. But uh, and if your you go mind. to da- yes, yes. <laughs> if you go to Daiso, you can basically find anything you need for the home or for your everyday life, I mm-hmm, guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but you don't have to pay, um, you know, as much as you would for, let's say, um, a mug. Yeah. Or like a coffee mug uh, you can get at a cheaper price. Like a or buck like, or two bucks, you know? Yeah. The thing is, like, so when I moved in to my new spot, I made, like, four or five trips in one day. The day I moved in yeah. because I was like, all right. Like, I'm 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 one of those guys that do, I don't make a list, mm-hmm. right? So I just walked into Daiso. I need this. I need that. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, all right. I got about two baskets full and I put <laughs> it in. And then and as soon as I, like organize okay yeah, i bought some plates some cups or you know some kitchen stuff i was like yeah oh dude i forgot i completely forgot about bathroom stuff right so then right. i would go back and then do bathroom stuff and then come so basically i every trip i made was for a particular room uh-huh. and i only have like i remember that i remember that rooms. day yeah. you went like four or five times yeah. and the fifth time they were like oh do you have a stamp card yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, and i was like mm. i could have been getting stamps all this time <laughs> yeah i spent i spent i spent a decent amount of cash over there for that but i bought everything you know what i mean we're talking about like from like dish rags to to uh, to um like racks for your uh racks for your desk yeah to you know what i mean so right. it was it, it, it's a it's a magical place they have car stuff like you can get like um wax for your car mm-hmm. or your, your interior you right. need to get like air freshener for your car your windshield wiper stuff like that like, like doggy like really, treats yeah you know? um <laughs> yeah oh that reminds me though the stem car thing uh-huh. uh there's a subway that i used to go to uh-huh a subway sandwich shop yeah. right that i i used to go to all the time uh-huh. like weekly i went like three four times uh-huh. and i was going there for like good like six months uh-huh. and um i didn't i didn't know it at the time until i saw another customer mm-hmm. uh one of the people asking oh do you have a stem card uh-huh. and they pulled out their stem card and they, i was like what <laughs> i like, could have got guacamole months? for free lady yeah you know how many sandwiches <laughs> i could have you know like I've been, you know, like I, I should have been getting for free. <laughs> and so I was so upset. Uh-huh. Uh, I just, I have never been back <laughs> to that subway. <laughs> it's like, I would have thought, I, I would have thought you would have been like, so now I have a stamp card and I go get no. free subways. You went the other way. You said I, out I of principle. I, I, I don't know if this is a correct statement to say, but I think the Korean in me, uh-huh. the stubborn side of me okay, okay the stubborn korean part of me is yeah. just like you screwed me over <laughs> on an amenity you know like <laughs> like it was something like it's not even you know it's just like a a, a courtesy yeah, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. and i'm just like <laughs> how dare you i'm mad about I'm punishing them for a courtesy that they extend to people that are smart enough to ask about a, a stamp card. I know. <laughs> oh, You'll man. never see me order a veggie delight. It's a uh, joint. The Korean phrase goes kojipse. Yeah. Right. Stubborn. Stubborn. Yeah, that's what that yeah, means. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what a kojip is, but I know se means strong. <laughs> <laughs> so I got some strong kojip, man. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, dude, there's, there's so much more to talk about yeah. living. I mean, I know it's a very broad topic, but you know, I just wanted yeah. to bring it up because you're, you're like looking for a place to buy. Yeah. I've just moved here and have like, a, you know, like have like a month of experience in terms of living at yeah. my own here. 
I'm it, kind of um, jealous because I was hoping you fa- were, were going to find like a real dump. You know, for me, yeah. So yeah. just so you could struggle like thanks. I did for a couple of years, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and thanks, then I could jerk. say, yeah. "Hey, you should probably upgrade." It. <laughs> <laughs> but my place right now is better than your current place. So, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yeah. actually, no. There's no window in the bathroom, you know, so your place is better. You know, you gotta give, right? You gotta, <laughs> you gotta be giving. <laughs> it's your friends. You yes, you're right. Look out for them. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, let us know, guys. Uh, what do you guys want us to talk about? I mean, I know mm-hmm. we could talk more about the living stuff. I know we have plenty of other topics. But if you have any suggestions on what topics you want us to talk about, please email us at peninsulapod at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, you know, um, check out our, um, you know, we'll be online on, on Instagram at peninsulapod as our handle on Instagram. So check that out, too. And, uh, yeah, let us know. Yeah, I guess that's it for this this week on When in Soul Podcast. The When in Soul, <laughs> the when in Soul Podcast. Farewell. <laughs> <laughs>